All right, hello guys. How's it going? In today's video, we need to talk about that major storm out west that is going to bring a lot of snowfall. It's going to be a major snowstorm. We're also going to talk about some of that rainfall out east as well, which looks like there could be a little bit more flooding than originally anticipated. So we're going to talk about all those things within this video. <music> Now, before we get into this video, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. I would also like to remind you guys that we uploaded our most recent winter forecast just a few days ago, so that's going to be on the top right corner of your screen right now, so you can check that out today. For today's comment of the day, I want to know which state do you think will see the most snowfall with this upcoming major snowstorm? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into this video and we were taking a look here at our precipitation on screen and as you can see there's a little bit of rainfall in the eastern United States as we speak but not a lot going on out west but somehow some way uh, in about seven days or so uh, or actually better yet it's going to be more like eight days from now we could see that there is going to be a major low pressure system over the Rockies bringing tons and tons of heavy snowfall for a lot of those states. Uh, it is going to switch up big time, so we're going to be talking about where that storm's going to come from uh, and how long it's going to last and what kind of impacts we can expect. So here's actually our pressure on screen. Yellow means higher pressure than normal. Blue means lower pressure than normal, and this is around right now. As you can see, things are very close to normal. We have some very light blues and some very light yellows. That means there's no, no like particularly high or low pressure over the United States right now. But by the time we're taking a look at Sunday, October 10th, look at that. We have a massive low pressure system forming over the north central United States. That's not even our major snowstorm because here that one comes just three days later. Look at that. We see far below normal pressure set up over the Rockies. We also see that it is a low pressure center of 991 uh, millibars there over Utah. So a very strong low pressure system. And it actually gets a lot stronger because look at this frame. 983 millibar low pressure center over South Dakota. So a major storm over the United States that is extremely low pressure um, and definitely going to be a, a very impactful storm coming up. So here is that kind of middle storm around the 10th of October that we expect to be possible. Mostly a rain event. As you can see, it could bring some snowfall to the Rockies, but nothing compared to the major storm we're taking a look at later on. Uh, mostly I'm worried about some rainfall for the Dakotas and Minnesota, and I think saying worried about is a little bit of an overstatement because, you know, I don't, I don't think the rainfall is too much of a worry here at this point with that particular system. Obviously, if there is some flood susceptible regions and you get, you know, one to two inches of rain, if that typically causes flooding in your area, then maybe you could be a little bit worried, but I don't think it's too major in that sense. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move straight into taking a look at that major snowstorm and watch it head into the United States and take a look at its impacts. Now, we're starting things out around October 11th or 12th time frame. And as you can see, there's a bit of snowfall up there for the Pacific Northwest in the Cascades. We see the kind of blue showing up north of there in Canada. We see a lot of snowfall, but this storm is not major by any means yet. And we can see this one lower into the United States. It heads a, heads a bit east as well. We see strong cold air making its way in behind this storm. Probably quite cool compared to normal there for California, Oregon, and Washington. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we see snowfall there for California, Nevada, Idaho, Montana, even portions of Wyoming by this point. It is heavy where it is snowing, but it's not as widespread as it's going to get yet. Because by the time we take a look at about 2 a.m. on Wednesday, October 13th, we have a 988 millibar low pressure center located over Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming, kind of that corridor in there. Uh, and we see snowfall throughout Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, uh, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, even portions of Oregon, and then still California as well. So we see widespread, heavy snowfall with this storm. Um, very, very widespread throughout all of these states. And it's going to end up being one of our more major uh, kind of rocky snowstorms, in my opinion. This is the time of year to be watching for these types of storms because typically their worst snowstorms are in the fall or the spring. Uh, in the winter, it gets so darn cold uh, that typically storms move around them depending on the temperature pattern. So 
Uh, usually this is the time of year you're watching for those more major Rockies snowstorms. Now, by the time we reach about 2 p.m. on Wednesday, you can see the storm moves up a little bit. We see a 988 millibar low pressure center over South Dakota, still bringing snowfall to the west of this storm for Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, Idaho, and Nevada. These are the storms that typically bring the most impacts, the ones that horseshoe around uh, the Rockies here, because if you think about it, if it's bringing snowfall when it's all the way up in the Pacific Northwest to the Rockies, to the areas to the east of it, and then it moves down into like uh, Utah and it's still bringing snowfall to those regions, then it curves around and heads up into South Dakota and it's still bringing snowfall to those regions. It's just prolonging the timing of the amount of snowfall there um, because if it's bringing snowfall throughout that entire track, that horseshoe is making it a much longer storm. So we're seeing many more hours of snowfall due to that horseshoeing track. And actually some of our worst blizzards of all time come from tracks like that. So uh, I'm not saying this will be one of our worst blizzards of all time. What I'm saying is that this typically is associated with very major snowstorms when we get in a pattern like this. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on uh, and we're going to watch this storm fizzle out in just a moment. And then we're going to go over total snowfall according to multiple models and then total rainfall for the eastern United States to take a look at that potential flooding. Now, by this point, this storm is a 983 millibar low pressure center over South Dakota. Still, we see states like Wyoming, uh, Montana, Idaho, Utah, Colorado, still seeing some snowfall, but it is beginning to slow down. The heaviest snowfall is for Wyoming and Montana by this point. Uh, and then by the time we reach about, I would say, 8 p.m. on Thursday, and that's going to be October 14th, this one is finally fizzling out by this point, and this is the end of the model run. Now, we do see another storm system moving in through the Pacific Northwest. I mentioned this in yesterday's video, and we're going to need to watch what this eventually leads to. But for now, it's too far into the future to be certain of uh, by any means. Now, total snowfall, according to our European model here, if you're anywhere in the grays or the blues, we're taking a look at uh, up to six inches of snowfall. Gray, indicating you will get snowfall, but very like dusting-like amounts or nothing accumulating all the way up to six inches there in the blues. Now the purples is gonna be six to 10 inches of snowfall, and then the pinks is gonna be 10 to 20, and then those pastel blue shades is gonna be your 20 inches plus, um, and we see most of that for very high elevation regions. So most areas that actually have people living in them will be somewhere in the blues or the purples, maybe the pinks, um, and that's, the pinks is kinda of where we move up towards a major snowstorm, you know, one foot or more amounts which is obviously major um so that is what we're taking a look at once we take a look at the gfs model things get pretty interesting because we see a massive difference here we see a lot more snowfall in a much more exclusive region there for the rockies mostly just montana wyoming and utah there as you can see colorado gets less idaho gets less and northern montana gets less we see more for the cascades there in washington and oregon uh, but we also see this model indicating that Nebraska, Kansas, South Dakota, and North Dakota could get a ton of snowfall, whereas the European model says, no, it's going to be all rain by the time it hits those regions. So massive difference there on those two models. That is lowering my confidence a bit. That's telling me we're going to need to talk about this storm for a long time to come and watch for that model to come into agreement. Now, here is the total rainfall out east real quickly. And basically... If you're in the blues, greens, or grays, you're taking a look at under an inch of rain or, you know, a non-threat for flooding, basically. Now, the yellows, uh, that's where we're at about one to two inches of rainfall. The yellows and oranges there. Then the reds is going to be two to five inches of rainfall. And then we see some of those browns around. If you take a look at Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and even a bit near New York City there in New York uh, and Long Island as well. That is where we're at five inches plus, and that is certainly where flooding will be possible in those high, uh, you know, four, five, six inch amounts, obviously, that this model is indicating is possible throughout these next couple of storms. Anyway, for today's confidence tab, we remain at a four out of six. I'm waiting to see some agreement on these models with this snowstorm, but until then, our confidence remains around here. For today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, do you think we will have a major snowstorm out west? And Ethan Gillespie said, I think we will have a major snowstorm out west because of the cold temps when snowfall usually starts around in the west. We definitely have those cold temperatures. We have a storm moving through, and those two things lead me to believe we will have a major snowstorm out west.
For today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our Platinum Patrons. Bill Kreitz, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Leonard LePan, Ban Mandy Birchfield, and Patrick Strickland as well. I would also like to thank our Diamond Patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Kudalasa, Kath Bite, Charles Tennant, Cindy Klein, Alan Goodbaben, Bill Dallas, Gary's, John Khaleesi, Dwight Phelan, Stephen Crenenthal, and Thomas D. Barr as well. If you'd like to join this very exciting patron entry of the day, you can do so by joining our very awesome Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to thank our channel members, Catbite, Stephen Fan, and Jeremy Cox as well. You can join this one next to that subscribe button down below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. I'll see you guys in the next video.